The rainforest stirs as dawn breaks, mist curling over a hidden pond. The air is cool, heavy with secrets, millions of years old. A single croak pierces the silence, then another, until the air vibrates with a chorus. Frogs, ancient survivors. Their ancestors predate dinosaurs, enduring unimaginable changes. Frogs are living bridges between water and land, breathing through skin and lungs. Their adaptability is legendary. From treetops to deserts, they thrive. Each species is a unique answer to survival, a living record of evolution. As sunlight climbs, the chorus fades. Frogs slip into shadows, their presence lingering in the hum of the forest. They are vital to this ecosystem, woven into its very fabric. Their story is one of resilience and transformation, echoing through the wild heart of our world. To understand their secrets, we need only listen. The rainforest's morning song is their legacy. Their lineage stretches back over 200 million years. They have survived mass extinctions, watched continents drift and mountains rise. Their simple yet effective body plan has allowed them to adapt and change. The frogs we see today are the result of countless generations of survival. Each species is a unique solution to environmental challenges. They are a living library of evolutionary history. As the sun climbs higher, the chorus fades, the frogs retreat, but their energy lingers. They're a vital part of this intricate ecosystem. Their story is woven into the life of the forest. A frog's life begins as a tiny dark sphere in a gelatinous mass, frog eggs. Laid in clusters or strings, the mother chooses calm, shallow water or the underside of leaves. The jelly coating shields embryos from predators and sun, keeping them moist. Inside, a single cell divides, forming a head, tail and twitching body. The embryo feeds on its yolk sac, safe in its transparent nursery. Many eggs won't survive, but frogs lay hundreds to ensure some endure. The choice of egg-laying site is critical too dry, too cold, or too many predators, and the clutch is lost. Some species lay eggs in rain puddles, racing to develop before water vanishes. After days or weeks, the tadpole hatches, wriggling free into a dangerous new world. It's equipped with a tail for swimming and gills for breathing. The journey from egg to tadpole is a race against time and nature. The jelly acts as a magnifier, warming the eggs and speeding development. Nature's strategy is numbers, hundreds or thousands of eggs. The location for laying eggs determines the next generation's fate. Frogs have evolved strategies to overcome environmental challenges. Some lay eggs in temporary puddles, their young developing rapidly. After hatching, the tadpole enters a vast, perilous world. Its life within the egg is over. Now it must survive open water. This marks the end of the first chapter in a frog's life. The journey of the tadpole begins. The tadpole emerges, perfectly adapted for water. With a long tail and gills, it breathes and swims like a fish. At first it feeds on leftover yolk, then scrapes algae from rocks and leaves. The pond teems with predators. Dragonfly nymphs, beetles, fish, tadpoles gather in schools for safety, their mottled colors blending with the pond floor. Constant vigilance is key. A flick of the tail can mean survival. As it grows, the tadpole's body strengthens, tail powering swift escapes. Some tadpoles spend years in the pond, hibernating in mud through winter. This extended stage ensures they're strong enough for transformation. The tadpole's life is a balance of rapid growth and constant danger. Deep inside, the blueprint for a new existence is awakening. Soon it will leave the water behind. The next stage is the most magical of all. The tadpole is accumulating energy for its extraordinary change. It is still bound to the water, a creature of the pond. But deep within, a remarkable process is beginning. The tadpole is on the verge of becoming something else entirely. It is preparing to leave the water and conquer the land. The next stage of its journey will be the most magical of all. Metamorphosis begins. Hind legs bud, then front legs emerge. The tadpole is a hybrid. Tail for swimming, legs for kicking. 
Vulnerable, it learns to breathe air as gills shrink and lungs take over. Its digestive system shifts from plants to insects. The mouth widens, a sticky tongue forms, the tail is absorbed, fueling the final transformation. The froglet, caught between two worlds, tests its new body at the water's edge. When the tail vanishes, the transformation is complete. The young frog is ready for land, leaping, hunting, breathing air. This journey from egg to adult is a symbol of adaptation repeated for millions of years. The frog is now a master of two worlds. It will one day add its voice to the ancient chorus. The transformation is a powerful symbol of change. It ensures the continuation of these remarkable amphibians. The little frog is now ready to begin its adult life. It will find food, avoid predators and one day sing its own song. The journey from water to land is complete. The froglet leaves its aquatic nursery behind. It is no longer bound to the water. The cycle continues. As dusk falls, male frogs begin their nightly chorus. Each species has a unique call, a signature for attracting mates. Calls range from deep croaks to high-pitched peeps, creating a layered soundscape. The male inflates his vocal sac, amplifying his song across the pond. Females judge potential mates by the strength and consistency of their calls. Calls also defend territory. Rival males may respond with aggressive notes or even wrestle for dominance. Singing is risky. Predators like owls and snakes listen in. The chorus is a drama of romance, rivalry and survival. The nightly symphony is more than music, it's a contest for life. Each call is a declaration, a warning and an invitation. The wetland soundscape is a living drama. The frog's call is both a beacon and a risk. The chorus is a testament to the complexity of frog life. It is a symphony of survival. Every night the drama plays out anew. Imagine a pond on a warm spring night. The first tentative call breaks the stillness. Then others join, swelling into a vibrant chorus. Each species adds its own note, deep croaks, high trills, chirps, creating a tapestry of sound. The chorus is ancient, connecting us to the rhythms of nature. Listen closely. Every voice has its place, no conductor needed. The music changes with the seasons and weather, growing richer as more frogs join. After rain, the chorus is at its loudest, a celebration of life. This symphony is more than noise, it's communication, competition and courtship. By listening, we glimpse the hidden drama of the wetlands. The night air vibrates with energy, a reminder of the world's biodiversity. These are conversations, warnings and invitations. The Frog Chorus is the soundtrack of survival. To listen is to appreciate the complexity of life. The world is alive and it is singing. The chorus is a living link to the wild. It is a sound worth hearing. The night belongs to the frogs. Frogs are masters of adaptation, thriving from rainforest to deserts. In the jungle, some climb high. Red-eyed tree frogs grip leaves with suction cup toes living in the canopy. In Australia's deserts, water-holding frogs store moisture and burrow deep, surviving years without rain. In the frozen north, wood frogs freeze solid, their bodies protected by natural antifreeze, then thaw and hop away in spring. Reproductive strategies are just as diverse. Poison dart frogs lay eggs on leaves, carrying tadpoles to tiny water pools and feeding them unfertilized eggs. From treetops to sand, from ice to tropical ponds, frogs have found a way to thrive. Their adaptability is unmatched. Frogs are true citizens of the world. Their survival strategies are as varied as the habitats they conquer. Each adaptation is a testament to their resilience. Frogs have colonized nearly every environment on Earth. They are the ultimate survivors. Their story is one of ingenuity and endurance. Frogs are the masters of adaptation. Frogs are both hunters and hunted, vital links in the food chain. As predators, they control insect populations using sit-and-wait tactics and lightning-fast tongues. Their diet includes insects, spiders and worms, natural pest control for many ecosystems. But frogs are prey too. Snakes, birds, fish and mammals all hunt them. 
Tadpoles and eggs are eaten by aquatic predators. Camouflage is their first defense. Some can even change color. When threatened, some flash bright colors to startle attackers. The most dramatic defense, poison. Brightly colored poison dart frogs warn predators with their vivid hues. Frogs' dual role shapes ecosystems, transferring energy up and down the food web. Their survival strategies are as varied as their habitats. Frogs are cornerstones of their environments. Their presence keeps nature in balance. The world of frogs is one of constant risk and reward. Their adaptations are a testament to evolution's creativity. Frogs are both predator and prey, essential to life's web. Frog movement is iconic. Powerful leaps, agile climbs and even gliding flights. Their skeletons are built for jumping short spines, strong pelvis, long muscular legs. Some, like toads, walk or hop. Burrowers dig with spade-like feet, vanishing underground. Tree frogs are acrobats, using adhesive toe pads to scale leaves and branches. These pads secrete sticky mucus, allowing vertical climbs and upside-down feet. Wallace's flying frog glides between trees, webbed feet acting as parachutes. Each movement style is an adaptation to a unique habitat. Leaping escapes predators. Climbing opens new worlds in the canopy. Burrowing offers refuge from heat and drought. Gliding frogs avoid ground dangers entirely. Frog locomotion is a showcase of evolutionary innovation. Their diverse movements reflect their adaptability. From ground to treetop, frogs conquer every level. Their agility is key to survival. Frogs are nature's gymnasts and escape artists. As night deepens, frogs reclaim the world with their chorus, a sign of healthy wetlands. Their sensitive skin makes them environmental sentinels, declines warn of trouble. Frogs control insects, feed countless species and link water to land. Their life cycle mirrors the ancient journey from sea to land. Each frog is a living link to Earth's deep past. Yet many mysteries remain. New species are still discovered. Their future is tied to ours. Habitat loss and pollution threaten their survival. The silence of a vanished chorus signals a broken ecosystem. Protecting frogs means protecting our planet's health. Their ancient song is a treasure worth saving. The wild calls to us through their voices. The night belongs to the frogs. Their chorus is the enduring voice of the wild.